Carlos, Carlos walking around doing his thing and I made a wrong turn. I turned left too soon, but I was gonna zigzag, get back to the block, but look at what building I found. I'm guessing they only have one that would be a lot more environmentally friendly, but who knows, maybe they have multiple, but I think I'm at the one and only DEP. So there's a, a courtyard here. I'm guessing that there have in the past and hoping that there will be in the future uh, protesters here. Like lots of us, wow, you do a bad job. Um, and I really do feel like the DP does do a bad job, um, that things have even gotten as far as they have with pipelines, with chopping down forests, like the uh, Sparta Stop the Chop is the people against it. Um, just tons of things that aren't even related to natural gas. Just there's, uh, they have tiles over there that I'm, one of them says waste management. I know Camden's been a mess because of waste management in the past and um, the county doesn't allocate enough money to make it fully better. So there's still a, a huge uh, odor problem. There's other problems with waste. Um, another tile down there, like they have these things. Um, this is radiation protection. But there was one that said Green Acres program. I want to criticize that from the angle, this angle, that yes, they do preserve lands, but a lot of the land, I'd say the majority of the acreage from what I've seen of preserved uh, land is already either mountainous or lakes or something like that, that would be hard for industry to develop anyways. So it's like the land already de uh, defended itself from uh, industrial capitalism as of now and um there was no pressure to develop there anyways so the dp's like oh we we protected it it was protecting itself it wasn't really in need of protection and here's the thing there's preserved lands right now that were protected whether under green acres or some other programs that are now under threat anyways so the these old ones that are now being removed uh from being protected because they're obviously not being protected if they're being violated to do construction and then how good are these future places? Like once uh, technologies uh, do develop or industry is looking for places to develop that they that were too expensive before, but now demand pushes them there, what's gonna save the mountains? What's gonna save these lakes from being uh, drained? Like how, what will stop it? And I, I don't think anything's gonna stop it. I think it's gonna be us that stops it. I don't think it's gonna be the government. Government doesn't do its job. They're just they're just joined in with the corporations. It's it's disgusting, and um, I wasn't planning on getting angry, but I'm a bit angry. I'm more than a bit angry. I'm very angry. Um, I'm a little bit exhausted. I've been walking a lot the last couple of days. So, um, but I thought I should make a video, and this is it. All right. Thank you for watching. Carlos Basic reporting from the DEP by himself.